What's up, Potrero fam? For this video, we're gonna explore Sedona, Arizona. know such a weird place to start. I featured this in the last video, driving from Denver to here, but this is the only McDonald's in the entire world that the arches are not yellow. They have very strict zoning laws here, and they felt that the yellow arches from McDonald's would take away from the amazing nature around us. I'm already sweating. It is 100 degrees out exactly. But the good thing is I met somebody here who gave me a bunch of suggestions of things to check out. They said the best viewpoint is at the end of a place called Airport Road. So let's go there and check out this entire scenery. I love honestly just driving around. Like look at the architecture of all these different buildings. Super cool. So beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, I'm mad. I can only be here for a day because there's so many amazing hikes all over here, but gonna be bouncing around as much as possible. I only have about like eight hours of filming time, so I'm gonna try to do as much as I can. awesome beer one of the biggest suggestions i got was to come to oak creek brewery and have the nut brown ale now it's time to go to another hiking spot so this area we're in now is called uptown sedona a lot of cool places to check out and of course and insane view. Great time walking around. Now it's time to check into our hotel, which is located in the downtown area of Sedona. This resort is crazy. Not only is it huge and they have like mini golf, a heated pool, you know, basketball courts, everything, but also, and this is just to me too, this, like an outdoor patio section it looks like. And then this right here, wow. So I am at you, but here's the entire resort as a whole. This 
resort is so beautiful, it was awesome walking around. And the reason why I'm so in shock as to how nice this is, is not only is it super nice, of course, but it's the fact that I only spent 96 bucks for tonight and this resort is amazing. What's pretty cool is that the Oak Creek Brewery we went to earlier, there's another one right here within walking distance of the hotel. My car is parked and everything. So now let's walk around this area and just explore. I love the setup of all these shops. Like there's two different big sections here with restaurants, bars, like gift shops, all these little cool spots to check out. I feel like I got so lucky with that resort because it's in the perfect position and prime location here in Sedona to walk around everything. So I saw this unique staircase here, leads up here. Might as well check it out. So I guess they're closed, but hey, at least we got this nice view to check out decided to come back to the resort and grab some food. Whoa! I just got out of the shower and I do have to drive eight hours tomorrow to go back to LA. I'm trying to figure out, should I go out? to check out another spot or stay in. Soon after. Of course we're going out. We gotta go out to one more spot. Rocking the Blockbuster shirt right now. It's roughly about like 8.45 p.m. There's a bar right down the street that closes at midnight. This is the last thing we're doing here in Sedona. Let's make it good. <laughs> Sedona was amazing. What's very interesting about my journey there is the first time I heard about Sedona was from the Blue McDonald's, which I know is super funny and super random. And what's craziest since then, since I planned on going to Sedona, almost every single person I talked about it with raved about it, being like, oh my God, Sedona's amazing. It's super beautiful. There's so much to do there. From the hiking spots to the vortexes, to the breweries, to the bars, the restaurants, the unique shops. As you can see from the footage, I'm gonna be honest that I travel a lot and Sedona is one of the most unique cities and areas I have ever been in. Starting off at that epic Blue McDonald's, which is still so ridiculous, but kind of interesting. Then going to that amazing airport road lookout, bouncing to Oak Creek Brewery for that nut brown ale. And I'm gonna be honest too, that is the best nut brown ale I have ever had. Both the nut brown ale and the Hefeweizen from Oak Creek Brewery got gold medal awards and beer competitions. And it definitely showed because both those beers were amazing. I just really loved walking around, looking at all the different shops and the architecture, like I mentioned numerous times already in this video, just the whole layout of the city was super cool from West Sedona to Uptown Sedona and the entire area as a whole. And of course, gotta give a huge shout out to that resort. That was phenomenal, especially for 96 bucks 
for that night. You know, there was so much to do there. The entire property was massive, plus a prime location as well. Had incredible tacos at the restaurant at the resort. And then lastly, going to Mooney's to finish it off. I wasn't sure which place to go to. I was like, I wanna to go to one more spot because it's the nighttime and Mooney's got ranked the best bar in Sedona. I also loved looking at all those kind of funny bar signs that they had. And I don't think I've ever been to any bar that had more of those like funny little signs everywhere. There were so many good ones. I had a blast. Sedona is an incredible area. And one last side note that I'm super pumped about is when I got back to LA, one of my friends texted me and said, hey man, congrats, that's awesome. And I'm like, Awesome about what? Turns out Kevin O'Leary from Shark Tank used one of my songs in his recent video. Here it is. Pretty awesome. Shout out to Kevin and his team for using one of my songs. What a great month it's been, spending the entire month in Denver, Colorado, then road tripping to Sedona, checking out everything in Sedona, and now I'm finally back in LA, working on new music, new projects, and already planning on my next traveling adventures. Life is awesome.